Hey, what's up guys? Ask NK here. We'll be talking about a new tool that is being unveiled by the guys at Adobe. Adobe? All right. So, the guys at Adobe has uh, unveiled a new tool known as Fresco. Now, this tool is not available to the public yet. It is still in closed beta, which simply means that a couple of people would be able to work with this tool, play with it, and see how it performs. This tool was once, you know, showed up to the public earlier last year i think it was called project gemini but now it's now rebranded and called project fresco or adobe fresco and it is a painting application that is aimed for tablet devices so if you're making use of an ipad or let's say you're working with uh, a wacom cintiq probably this tool is going to be for you and it's aimed at reproducing real media like watercolors chalk paint and from the guys at adobe they're saying that it would make use of an ai system which is known as sensei and sensei is something that they've been using over a long period of time for both photoshop and also other painting apps that they have and if you're wondering what the meaning of fresco means it is an italian word for the word fresh which simply has to do with the way people get to paint stuff before so previously when guys get to do like all of these crazy paintings in the ancient or previous times they get to combine different kinds of freshly made materials like plaster water and all those things to get their painting or to get the stuff done so this is like the main idea that they're bringing in together to actually recreate this thing the adobe fresco will be able to replicate those organic interaction and you know expand on them and the scientists there they said they've studied the chemistry of real world you know pigments and they're going to also try as much as possible to incorporate this thing have we seen this before yes probably we've seen it before because this tool reminds me of tools like rebelle from escape motion so if you've not seen that tool before i'm just going to show you a little bit of it all right so you've seen it now yes so tools like that and also Expressly. So Expressly is also another tool that you know works like that. And if you've also checked out Corel Painter, you might have also seen something that looks like this. So this tool is reminiscent of these particular sets of tools that we've seen before, and maybe they're going to expand on this tool and make it way more better. And over time, I have also come to understand that uh, the brushes that you get to work with in Photoshop, you can actually plug all of them directly into Fresco, which simply means that this time you don't necessarily need to spend all that amount you need to do previously to buy new sets of brushes. I mean, once this app is available to the public, all you have to do is just move your tools or move your brushes, by the way, or move your brushes directly into Fresco. And they've looked on the physics of how water and ink gets to work and how maybe paper gets to work as well. Basically the same way you get to work in Escape Motion's Rebelli, that's basically how you're going to work with this thing. But from what they're saying, this tool presently is targeted towards iPad and over time they are going to expand on other systems that would be making use of this. And with the way things are looking, I think this tool will be with Sector as the savage interactive procreate tool that is popular for the guys using iPad and probably, you know, the Sketchbook Pro Mobile that you get to use once you're making use of any drawing tablet. One thing I've come to also understand is probably this is a mix match of other Adobe tools that includes the Adobe Draw and the Sketch, the other one which is known as the Adobe Ideas. But then let's move on. If you want to test this tool out, you can go ahead and sign up for the closed beta that is available right now. Link is going to be in the description. Link to other tools as well is gonna be in the description just in case you wanna check them out. Do you paint on your tablet or what device do you make use of when you're doing your painting? Do you make use of Procreate, Clip Studio? Do you do things with the outrage? Or probably you work with the paint to side or you know, the affinity line of stuff. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below and if you want to try this too like i said earlier link is going to be in the description if you want to check out other updates you can check them in the channel link is also going to be in the description to the playlist that contains every other update that you would like to see and if you like this video you know what to do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here also turn on the notification so you don't miss the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace